iPhone X Review. The iPhone's 10th anniversary has been celebrated with a phone that finally marks a big change for the iconic device. Design and Build Quality Undoubtedly the biggest attraction of the iPhone X is the screen. It's nothing new in the wider market but this is the first time that Apple has offered a larger display on a phone that isn't simply huge. The new display means you get a bigger screen than the iPhone 8 Plus in a much smaller handset. It's actually not that much bigger than the regular iPhone 8. With iPhone design effectively unchanged for a number of years and devices, the iPhone X suddenly looks dramatically new, refreshing and even futuristic. Screen In case you haven't noticed, the iPhone X has a somewhat insane new screen. Apple calls it the Super Retina display. Its 5.8 in matching rivals like the Galaxy S8 and although it doesn't have curved edges like Samsung, it's still gorgeous. The 1125 by 2436 resolution makes it the crispest iPhone yet at 401 pinned it looks like a glossy magazine a lot of time. Processor and Performance As usual, a new generation of iPhone means a new processor, and it's the A11 Bionic which is found in all of this year's iPhones. The Bionic bit is just marketing, but what's important is a move to 6 cores rather than 4 2 for performance and 4 for efficiency. The X has 3GB of RAM, which matches the 8 Plus. Cameras The camera setup on the iPhone X is much like the iPhone 8 Plus with dual rear cameras, albeit in a vertical array. The second camera working as a 2x telephoto when compared to the main lens. However, this second camera now gets OIS like the main sensor exclusive to the X, although not the wider market, which means sharper photos and more stable videos. It also has a larger f/2.4 aperture, which lets in 30% more light, another boon when light levels are low. Video has also been improved as the rear cameras can now record 4K at 60fps, twice that of the iPhone 7, and 1080p slow motion capture at 240fps, again double the frame rate. These are all matched on the iPhone 8 models. Battery life and wireless charging Apple says the iPhone X will provide an extra 2 hours battery life compared to the iPhone 7 The same is true for the 8 and 8 Plus. We've found the iPhone X battery life to be very good, easily lasting a day of regular usage. We re disappointed, though, that although the iPhone X supports fast charging, Apple doesn't supply the necessary kit in the box despite how much you're shelling out. Instead, it will cost you £74 to get the right 29 watts adapter and cable. Software There's not a great deal to cover in terms of software that we haven't said already. We've been given new features like Face ID, Animoji and the new iPhone X gestures their own sections above so you can read in detail. Overall, iOS looks great on the screen and is also slick in general use, see performance for a couple of caveats. There are a number of things users, previously iPhone or not, will have to take time to learn but it has nothing serious.